and this is just your average Jane, the go-to channel for unique places to try and hidden gems to see here in Las Vegas. Today, I'm so excited to take you to hands down the best hike that we have here in the city. It's the Gold Strike Canyon Trail, which leads to our only hot springs here in the city. So this hike is classified as advanced online. So I'm gonna take you with me, show you what to expect so that you can be fully prepared for this hike and you can enjoy it as much as I did because honestly, I was blown away. So let's go. So first, let me give you all of the specs and details of this hike. This trail is located 45 minutes outside of Las Vegas, and it is only open in fall, winter, and spring, specifically October 1st through May 15th due to the extreme heat in the summertime. And considering that you're hiking to a hot spring, it's not going to be enjoyable if it's too hot outside, so this is definitely a winter activity for sure. Now online, this hike is classified as advanced due to the rock and boulder scrambling you'll need to do. However, they do have ropes installed that you can use to help descend down the rocks and of course climb back up the rocks when heading back. Sometimes to get to hot springs, you'll have to do a long hike to get there. However, this hike is only five miles round trip, so it's two and a half miles to get there and two and a half miles back. For us, it took two hours to get to the hot springs. We spent an hour and a half there, and then it took another two hours to get back to the car. So it was about a five and a half hour hike. But since we were stopping to film and take pictures, it took a little bit longer than it normally would have. So I would say prepare anywhere from four and a half to six hours for yourself, depending on your pace. Okay, so now that we've gone over the details of this hike, let's get into the gear that you will need. I highly recommend wearing hiking boots. However, I did see couples wearing tennis shoes and either way, honestly, the boulders that you're climbing on are going to be slippery. So you just have to be confident in your upper body strength to pull yourself and secure yourself on the rope as your feet are kind of slipping around a bit and finding their placement. So overall, I suggest hiking boots, but you could definitely do this hike in tennis shoes. Now, bring extra water, you guys. I brought my Camelback and that was absolutely perfect. However, if you don't have a Camelback, then just bring extra water because not only are you hiking, but you will get dehydrated from sitting in the hot spring. And of course, accompany that water with a nice high calorie snack. Uh, I mean, forget the snack, take a meal. Yeah, take a full on meal, you guys, because you're gonna need a lot of fuel to keep energized. Now, the next two items are necessities for any hot spring, and that is going to be closed toed water shoes and a towel. And once you arrive, you'll be greeted with this beautiful waterfall that pours into this amazing hot spring. You guys, this is like nature's natural jacuzzi and uh, it was just so relaxing. It's like being at a spa, but in the middle of nature, like you guys have to go and experience this for yourself because it's hard to believe that this oasis is here in the middle of the Las Vegas desert. So we just came from the hot spring up there, the first one, the biggest one that you'll see. If you keep walking down, you'll see another small hot spring and then the Colorado River. And the worst part of this hike is simply leaving. You will not want to get out of the hot springs once you start relaxing in there. Um, but a notable piece of information is that we went on a weekday, so it wasn't very busy at all. But if you do go on a weekend, just expect it to be a little bit more busy. Come on, I told you I was going to deliver you the best hike here in the city of Las Vegas, and I know I did not disappoint. If this video was worth filming and worth showing to the internet, then definitely give the video a like. And if you wanna see more unique hidden gems here in the city of Las Vegas, where I support local businesses, and where I encourage you to get out off of the beaten path, then subscribe for more cool content. Now, this is just your average Jane signing off. Bye.